Status report? The last few months on Okinawa have taken their toll. Morale is low. It's the rain, sir. And the mud. Tanks are getting bogged down. Supplies aren't getting through. We can't even get the wounded out. Yes, sir. Understood. We're moving out. What's the skinny? Major Gordon's ordered another attack on the enemy stronghold beyond this ridge. Any word on supplies? They're coming. When? Just get up the hill, Polanski. Alright, everyone. Welcome back to World at War. Uh, we have satchel charges for the first and I think only one of two times in the entire game. Uh, but we won't see very much of those because you only get three in, MG the, in that bunker. A, uh, Spread out. a specific thing later in the mission. And, uh... Yeah. Our secondary weapon, by the way, is a straight-on MG, so we're going to have some fun. Fighter hole! Burn fire! Tell her burn the grass! And that was why I was burning things already. I knew what to expect. I've done this before. If you haven't, it's kind of a shock and really bad and could get you completely fucked. So... It's a good idea to uh, actually follow the advice of Roebuck there and uh, start burning grass. Fucking right up my feet. And so this is, uh, ooh, could have picked up that carbine, but I really want to hold on to both of these weapons because the MG is absolutely fantastic for the rest of this. Alright, let's, uh, and of course the flamethrower is the flamethrower. I'm gonna try to move up here. I should probably be a little bit more conservative with my firing and maybe aim down sights every now and again, but why would I do a thing like that when I can just, you know, not? Oh boy. I'm in a spider hole now, that's not good. Uh, hopefully I'll actually be able to get out of this alive. One shot. Oof. Headshot. I don't think uh, burning out the spider holes or burning up the grass actually stops them from getting out of the spider holes or kills them prematurely or anything like that. I think it's just the game wants you to use it that way. Uh, I think the enemies will actually die when they get out. Why am I not using it? Go. And one of the things I've, I've noticed this a lot, I'm sure you guys have as well, is that when you've been uh, when you've been hit, your crosshair disappears completely. I thought that's a neat little effect that they don't really replicate in other Call of Duty games. Oh, they can't see us. That uh, that's bad. Why'd I do that? You want to actually get the, uh... I can't get away from that, can I? Not easy. Oop, I'm on fire now. This is, uh, kind of terrifyingly bad. Not being able to see these guys as you're supposed to be pushing through them. That's what makes it a kind of interesting game. There's a lot more of those charges through the smokes and stuff like that. So let's uh, take an opportunity to throw some satchel charges. And when it says unbound, just like in the Black Cat's mission, that actually means to the right mouse. I don't know why it says unbound. It knows where my fucking mouse buttons are. So those are satchel charges. Uh, as you saw there, they didn't do a lot. Now the game does actually drop a couple of uh, refills through this section if you get it fucked up. And you might fuck it up the first couple times you do it. So that's nice of the game. This is probably where I'm going to die first in this mission. I'm surprised I didn't die in the uh, very opening segment, actually. This can just be a difficult area because of the number of guys and the fact that I get a little too aggressive about this one almost every time. Sorry, guys. No. Do that instead. One 
down. Keep on it. Yeah, so it turns out that they're just storing, like, all the explosives in Japan in those bunkers. And that's why that happens, I guess. I don't know. Very weird that the, uh, the bunkers just go up like that. So for this segment, I like to stick to the right here. That over there is actually a collectible that I'm going to go pick up. I knew I left a couple of these in the game. Here it is. I don't know where all of them are. I just know where the obvious ones are. And so, uh, when I ran past them, I just, like, said, eh, screw it, my test run. I'll just not pick it up, and that way when I do this for real, people can actually see what they look like. I've already picked one of them up, uh, and I've been looking for the other ones every now and again. But, mm, no luck, really. Ugh. Direct hit. There's also, if you're looking, uh, rain effects on the character's face. Or the camera, I guess. So, it, Which is, an, again, another interesting thing that I don't really think they do with other Call of Duty games going forward. I'll have to go check some of the other ones, but... I was pretty sure this is, like, either the first time or one of the first times they bothered with that. Even though by this point it had been almost an industry standard since 2004. And we have one more bunker to attack. It's actually way up here. And it is the most difficult. Your guys will actually try to get you to go right up this main route here that I'm looking at. Don't suggest it myself. Much easier to do this. Go over here. Just go right over the bridge. I was hoping to get this guy uh, through the bridge. Took a few times, but I got him. And so this is the reason I'm using this uh, route is just because there's so much more uh, maneuverability on this side, and you're not dealing with five guys shooting you from six different directions. You know, well, that's impossible. Whatever. Uh, the important thing is that you get shot from a lot of directions. So we're gonna try to do that real fast. Now, once we kill all these guys, we'll be set with this little area. Now, now I'm going to make the case that in... Hey. Hey. In a lot of Call of Duty games, that would have been it. We would have hit that point in the game and just been like, cool. Thanks, everyone. Level's over now. This one, we actually have to come up here. Oh boy, you better not be stuck. You better not be stuck. Okay. Uh, Roebuck has a tendency to get stuck in this game. What do we do now? We keep moving, Kowalski. Yeah, exactly. We keep moving, which means... I'm on it! More level. Our tanks are moving up. Not a bad thing, Bob I, I think it's actually a pretty good deal. But then... Because everything goes to shit. For it. We hit a checkpoint, so things have to happen. There's not a lot of cover, if you haven't noticed. So. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, for whatever reason, I didn't go uh, to prone. Interesting. Oh, because I hit Z. Z is prone for me in Battlefield games, not this one. My mistake. So, this is actually the thing Polumsky mentioned there is interesting. There's pathways to either side, you can flank in. You can go right or left and get through all this shit. There's no straight ahead, so you actually do have to flank. Alright, so I'm going to go right here. You may have noticed that in the previous level on the platform, and I mentioned it there, I went right. Uh, that's mostly because I always, always, always go left in this game and other games. I don't know why. It's just the thing I do. So I want to go right here to show everyone what it looks like. Yeah, I knew where you were going to be. Actually, a lot of guys coming through here in this area. So... 
go down into this little uh, ravine here and get some easy kills on these guys. And then, uh, hold on. If you still have satchel charges, which you should, save yourself a little bit of time in the future because we will be going through that area. Where are you going? Okay. Well, that guy just decided to piece the fuck out, huh? I always think this is somebody in a tree. The way the uh, the gap in the leaves are and the color of the tree. Uh-oh. Sorry. There, there we go. It's interesting. The game will usually stop you from shooting friendly uh, characters. It just stops the gun from firing whatsoever. Um, but with the flamethrower, it just lets you set them on fire. It doesn't really stop anything. I think that's mostly because the game can't really determine how far away they are, how much the flamethrower is going to travel. It's not like a hit scan weapon. Of course, if you get a certain distance away, the game will not stop you from shooting your uh, allies either, so it's a hit or miss. So, the segment we're about to go into is actually uh, universal. If you go right or left, you get the same sort of fights going here. I think they are actually, this room and another one are mirrored. Why did I lose my ability to move there? Interesting. I hit a checkpoint though. You can actually get to the top of that hill there and not hit the checkpoint and die. Uh, there's say more enemies in the area and then have to redo this entire thing because the way the checkpoint system works in this game is a little fucked. There's not a lot of give to it. You have to cross certain thresholds. I mean, that's most checkpoint systems in most games, but I'm talking like, it doesn't end because you killed X number of enemies, it ends because you crossed a line somewhere. Uh, and so if you never cross that line, it won't checkpoint for you. A flamethrower is very useful in this segment, but there are areas in here that are just no good for the flamethrower. And so I suggest bringing the MG with you, because there's no trench gun in this level. As far as I know. So, flamethrower it is. And there's enough guys in here that you're a little concerned. If you run out of MG ammo in the first area, I suggest just picking up one of the uh, Type 99s. tell that I've done this a couple times. I will use the rest of these satchel charges, don't you worry. And one of the things I actually find kind of neat about this game over some of the other Call of Duties that are kind of linear and just have you going from one area to the other, which I mean this game does at times, but realize that you know, when you go through these bunkers, in a lot of cases, let me see if I can set these on fire, show off the ammo burn off thing, guess not. Uh, when you go through a lot of these bunkers, and you work through a lot of the areas in the American campaign especially, you're kind of like, there we go, that one there. You're going through these areas that you've seen in the rest of the level in a lot of cases. You know, it's not so much, uh, circular or anything like that, but it does, it's more winding, I guess, is the way I would put it. Like, you're, the level isn't just a straight shot, go here, go here, go here, go here. It's a, you're in this area, you have to fight for it, or defend it, or take it back, or whatever it might be. And I think that's a really interesting distinction this game makes between it and other uh, Call of Duty games, especially. One of them must have thrown that grenade back. I should have switched the MG there. The so is still good for the first few feet of this room. Yeah, I should have, once I, I don't know, I should have really remembered to throw a grenade into the room at that guy. Right, trying to trigger that bonsai chart. I have to say, it's a little weird to me when you think about uh, the US in World War II. You don't really think about the MGs and the flamethrowers. Well, I guess, you know, Pacific Campaign is a little different. Uh, but you think about, like, Garands and Thompsons and everything, and while those guns are in this game, they're not 
very common uh, compared to, say, the flamethrower that you get for, like, four out of five levels or something like that. Whoa. So there's actually two ways up this hill. You could go up that ladder I saw in the back there, or you can go up this hill. We're actually going to go up this hill. Uh, either way is a pretty intense fight. I feel like the ladder is the easier way, though. Uh, or, well, okay. Usually there's more guys up here. Oops. That's the end of the level. Now let's get out of this damn hole and start dealing with our wounds. I'll see you guys next time. Miller! Get over here! Hold on, kid. We're gonna get you out of here. Help me get him on the truck. We're moving One, out! Two. You three. leaving? Push ahead and take <laughs> Sherry Castle. But we're running on empty here! You'll have a supply it's drop not bad, in okay? tomorrow? How the hell are we supposed to hold out till tomorrow? This is bullshit. You hear this, Sarge? We ain't getting shit till tomorrow morning. Intel says Shuri Castle is mostly deserted. Look on the bright side. After this, you boys will probably get relieved and be on the boat. Yeah? That's what we thought after Peleliu. 